June 28th. I'm going through my travel bag one last time before heading to class, making sure that everything is packed and ready to leave later that night. I can spend the time to do it at the class since those since those who will be heading to the competition are excused from practice today. But this is the kind of thing I don't mess around with. When I was a kid, there were a few times where I left packing and getting ready to leave to the last minute and I would always forget something important. No one wants to be the kid that has to call his mom and have to travel to another city to bring him underwear. You brought your bag downstairs? Augie comes down from his room, sitting his bag down next to him and taking a seat on the couch to put on his socks. Yeah, that way I can just pick it up on my way out the door when I have to leave later tonight. I talked to my coach about your trip last week. There was some talk about getting a bus and taking kids whose parents sign off on it to watch the competition. Considering how much your club costs per month, taking you guys to watch competitions is the least they could do. It also helps that we have a few high school players competing in it, too. No kidding! I'll make sure to crush them extra thoroughly. Please don't. I have to see these people every day. And then you'll have to tell them every day that your older brother was the one that kicked their asses. I'm pretty sure I'd take a racket to the head if I did that. Jim Cornette style. And then I would have to really kick their asses. Settle down. Okay. I seem to have packed enough socks and underwear. I have shirts for practice, shirts for my matches, shirts to wear around the hotel. Bring a pair of pants and a few shorts just to make sure. Never hurts to bring extras. Sometimes if a match goes on for too long, I change shirts in the middle of it if one gets too sweaty. Ah, oh, ah, oh, right. I'll have to get some shampoo and soap. I don't like the ones that hotels tend to supply. Same! Fuck them! What hotel are you guys staying in? Um, actually, I don't remember. Uh, I'm pretty sure we were told the name of it at some point. I, I forgot. You need to pay more attention to this kind of thing. Give me a break. I have a lot on my mind. This is the second biggest competition of the year, and this is my last year as a junior player. Hmm. What? Nothing, nothing. I'd be surprised that you'd think about that stuff, that's all. Of course I think about it. It's a big deal to me. We both know that you're already qualified for the next stage anyway. The only thing getting affected here is your seed ranking. Which is also a big deal. If I want to get to the first round bye, I need to make sure that I don't lose my second seed position. Or you could shoot for winning this tournament and getting this first seed position. You just have to beat tanabe -kun. No big deal. It's a possibility. Hey, you actually went along with it. You usually brush me off when I say things like that. Maybe I'm a bit more confident this year. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. You talk as if you know for sure that you're going to be there to watch it. Uh, yeah? Even if the club doesn't take me, Mom would get someone to. I haven't missed any of your big competitions since you started high school. That's true. If anything, hockey has been my staunchest supporter for the past few years. Honestly, the only thing bugging me right now is that I don't know if Shoichi will be. <laughs> oh, God! The attack from food down under! If Shoichi will be there. Sorry. I mean, I get it. He's even more busy this year than he was in the years prior. But this is my last Kanto Jr. competition. And he's my boyfriend now. It would feel lame if he wasn't there. I don't know, refrain saying that to him. I know Shuichi. I know he already feels guilty about it. Don't need to add on to it. Oh, I almost forgot to pack towels. Just use the hotel towels? Not bath towels. I meant towels to wipe myself off when I'm playing. Oh, yeah, you should probably pack those. Playing during summer months is already tough enough without having a way to dry my, own, dry my own fur. Remember this one time I forgot to bring any towels with me and I couldn't wipe myself for the entire day? Oh, chafing! Ew! Ew! What for? Ew! Ew! Gross! Just as I'm doing my last checks and about to grab a few towels, I hear a knock on the door. Who could that be? I say, who is it? No answer. Uh, who is it? 
No answer. Who is it? You're not saying anything. I'm not going to finish that. Uh, who could be showing up at this time of morning? Is it some kind of a delivery, maybe? Can you go check who's here? I'm going to go get the towels in the laundry room. No problem. Okay, it's to the front door. Who the fuck could it be? While I finish moving things around in my bag to make space for the towels. Shoichi ni? Who in the fuck would have guessed that shit? I'm halfway to the laundry room when I hear Shoichi's name causing me to freeze on the spot. Oh... I quickly spin around on my heels, facing the entrance hall, just in time to see Shuichi and Aki emerging from it. The towels! What about the towels? Shuichi? What are you doing here? <laughs> Sorry to drop by unannounced. I'd have messaged, but I decided to swing by at the last second. Uh, that's fine. I, it's not like you need a reason to come over. I'm just surprised. We'd agreed to hang out after class today, so I figured I wouldn't see you until at least lunchtime. I got a bit impatient. Did you come by to walk to school with Aniki? You two haven't done that in a while! Yeah, we barely walked to school together after starting high school. Is that why you came over? You just wanted to walk to school together? Kinda. That didn't check up on you. I figured you would be preparing your bag right about now. Besides, I'm going to be a little busy once we get to school, so I know I won't be able to hang out before homeroom. At least if I walk with you, you'll get the chance to ch you'll get a we'll get a chance to chat for a bit. Switchy looks off to the side, spotting my open travel bag and flashing a smile. Seems like I was right. Like that would have been hard to guess. Will you be showing up for Aniki's matches tomorrow, Shuichi? -ni? At Aki's question, I look to Shuichi, curious myself to see what kind of response he'll give. Yesterday, it was just a maybe, after all. Sorry. No dice for the morning matches? For any matches? Uh, none? Uh, at least, not for tomorrow. You're not gonna watch Aniki's matches? Sorry, Aki-kun. Sorry, Cleves. How come he won't let you go? I thought he was being a little more lenient with you lately. That's... part of it? I've been spending a lot of time lately going to see Mom and Hitoka. I haven't paid that much attention to my classwork. So he's forbidding you to from coming to my matches... So you can study? Yes and no. It's kind of my fault. Is it actually? In this case, yeah. We'd made an agreement that I'd avoid going to cram school after class so long as I could keep on top of all my school assignments and keep my grades above a certain amount. I, uh, kind of messed up on a few assignments these last few weeks. As in, I failed to deliver them entirely. How much stuff are you juggling? And how is this the first I've heard of this? Because we don't talk about schoolwork? Do you want to talk about school assignments when we hang out? God, no. Yeah, I didn't think so. Still, isn't it a bit harsh to not let you go at all? I <laughs> agree. Thankfully, it shouldn't take me too long to finish them. The teachers in question agreed to let me turn them in late. I don't think I've ever heard of you failing to deliver homework in time before. Yeah, well... I've had a lot on my mind recently. I can imagine. Crap. It's hard not to feel responsible when I know how much stuff we've been going through recently. Getting used to dating, spending more time together, or arguing. The trouble I got Shuichi in with his dad. Add in the time he's been spending with his mom and sister, and it's no surprise he hasn't had time for his dude to do his homework recently. It's okay. You don't have to worry about missing a day. It's not like any of my first day matches are a big deal. <sighs> That's true. I expect you to blitz through all of them without much issue. I'd still rather have had Shuichi there with me for support, but I don't want to overburden him. Still, not letting him come to my competition is cruel, Takahiko-san. No. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm pretty good at organizing travel bags. 
You're about a day too late for that. I've already gotten most of everything packed away. Damn. I should have swung by last night. and I completely forgot. I don't blame you. You don't usually help me pack, so it's normal for it to not cross your mind. Still, I wanted to help. It's sweet of you, but I'm all good. I know you two are dating now and everything, but save the flirting for when you're alone. Hockey! Don't be rude. How's that rude? I was not prepared to be called up by hockey, of all people. Huh? What did I do? It's easy to forget that you know. That's a problem here. It's not good for our hearts that you mention it out of nowhere. Thank God Mom wasn't around to hear you say that. I'm not stupid, you know. I wouldn't say it around her. But still. But I still think you should tell her soon. There's no reason to keep it a secret. There's lots of reasons to keep it a secret. Just because you're too young to understand them doesn't mean that they're not there. But then again, it's way too early to be having this argument. Yeah, yeah, I will eventually. When I'm ready. What about you, Shunichi? Shunichi. God damn it, shuichi -ni. Did you tell your family yet? I, um... Aki, don't you have something better to do right now? It's 7.30 a.m. What do you think? I think you should go check on your homework before you leave. Aki rolls his eyes, groaning in dissatisfaction. Whatever. But this is something you need to talk about eventually. You know I'm right. Go! Aki grumbles, grabbing his bag and heading back upstairs to his room. Since we don't leave for at least another ten minutes, at least I can make sure he won't harass me and Shoichi about this. The last thing I need right now is for someone who doesn't understand Shoichi's family situation to be trying to give their opinion. Oh, you mean like you get at lunch all the fucking time? But now you're gonna fucking call attention to it. Sorry, I, uh, guess he's done being subtle about knowing. No kidding. I forgot you told me about that. My heart nearly stopped when he mentioned it. So is there anything else you wanted dropping by early? I'm asking again in case you didn't want to say it with Aki nearby. I wanted to spend time with you, that's all. Since I won't be able to see you tomorrow and all. It's just one day, it's not gonna kill ya. We can go a day without seeing each other. We can. Doesn't mean I want to. Ah, look at you being all clingy and stuff. I can still turn around and head to school on my own, you know. Don't be ridiculous, you're already here! It's a matter of principle. Quite flexible and shifty for a principle. <sighs> Fine, not principle. Maybe pride? Just sit down. Shuichi laughs, looking at me in the eye and making sure I can see him as I as he leans back against the couch, intentionally ignoring what I just said. Wow, what a revel. I try my best. Still, you're pretty lucky. Aki seems pretty cool with everything. And we both know that you don't have to worry about your mom, either. We don't know that. Please, the woman would sooner cry, thank you for telling her, and hug you than say a single mean word to you. You can never know. These kinds of things can bring out the worst in people. She raised both you and your brother to be kind, polite, and open-minded. A hateful person doesn't do that. You're just stalling. Maybe. Just leave me and my stall alone, okay? You and your stall... Shush! Just saying. I wish I could be this sure that things will go well if I tell my family. As if your mom is any more likely to take it badly. Unlike in your case, we actually can't know. I haven't talked to her in years until recently. Not to mention Hitoka's crush on you. I have to figure out a way to handle that. Okay, I'll admit that part does sound a little messy. You think? <laughs> Maybe I should be the one to tell her? Don't be silly. You've been making your disinterest clear for years. She's the one who's been choosing not to listen. I can't put that on you. If you say so. I do. 
Besides, more than anything, the one I'm scared about is my dad. You think he wouldn't take it well? I don't know. With him, I can't tell how he'd I can't tell he'd, how he'd react at all lately. And not just to this. Yeah. I did think he seemed a lot different than I remembered him being. To begin with, he used to be genuinely nice. Even if there was some messed up stuff going on behind the curtains with his marriage, I'd never seen him be mean to Shuichi before. And he'd always treated me super well. If I've been confused about how much he's changed, I can't imagine how it is for Shuichi. <sighs> I really don't want to think about this right now. You'll have to come by. You'll have to think about it eventually. We, You can't keep our relationship a secret forever. We can't keep our relationship secret forever. I know. Are you sure there's nothing I can help you with? Nope, I'm all done packing. Did you get the towels? I don't even remember if you got the towels. Did he get the towels? My god, you need the towels! Oh, other than the towels. Oh god, the towels, thank god! Oh, then the towels I was about to fetch when you showed up. You're so organized with some things, and so not with others. It's weird. Gotta leave you guessing. That's how we maintain the mystery in our relationship. I've known you for 12 years. The mystery is already dead and buried. But who killed it? Now that is a mystery. You're an idiot. And you love me. My point still stands. I try to pretend like I don't notice his tail wagging the entire time we're talking. Even when he's being pouty and acting all grumpy like he is now. I quickly go to the laundry room and grab a few fresh towels to put away. Shuichi follows me around, chatting while I finish organizing everything to make sure I'm ready for the trip. At least he's right in that reading him and how he's feeling is definitely no mystery. For instance, it's pretty clear when his mood is starting to tank and I should change the subject on him. Then again, he's never been the best at masking his emotions in the first place. It just makes me wonder how the hell I managed not to not notice his feelings for me for so long. It helps not to consider it a possibility. I really don't want to call myself enormously dense, but I seriously can't think of another reasonable explanation. You didn't consider it a possibility! If you've never considered the possibility that the sky could actually be blue, or really, maybe, instead of that, maybe it's red. If you don't consider it a possibility, you would never even think to think of why it could be. I'm not saying those things are equally as logically to be possible, but I'm saying if you don't even consider that to be, like, possible, you would never consider the likelihood of same. Hello, Earth to Cleaves. Did you zone out on me? No, I was listening. I wasn't saying anything. I mean, I was trying to think of what I would say. You might just be an even worse liar than me. No way, I'm a much better liar than you. I've lied to you tons without you noticing. Is that so? Okay, then. Tell me something you've lied to me about before. Go on, I'm waiting. <laughs> on second thought, yes. Crap, I might have just shot myself in the foot here. Sometime later. Once I was sure I wasn't forgetting anything else, I closed up my bag and dropped it next to the shoe rack by the front door. Luckily, Aki had made his way downstairs by then, so I didn't have to go fetch him so we could all walk to school together. Service Ace! Wish you could have seen it! <laughs> that does sound pretty awesome, Aki-kun. Sounds like you've been improving lots recently. I have! Aki wastes no time in hogging Shuichi's attention, regaling him sto regaling to him stories of his recent practice sessions with great enthusiasm. I don't know whether to be jealous over my boyfriend or my little brother. Either way, it feels weird to be ignored this hard. Then again, Aki always seems to be more energetic with sh when Shuichi or Saya are around, so it's no great surprise. And it's not like he hasn't told me these stories a few d uh, days ago already. It's been a while since I've last watched you play. Maybe I should drop by someday and see for myself just how much you've improved, eh, Aki? 
I try interjecting, mostly so I don't keep getting left out of their conversation. Ooh, that's a great idea. There we go. Why don't you come watch me play sometime, Shuichini? Come on, pretty please? Yeah, of course I would. I'll try to find some time for it. So close, yet so far. You sure get excited about spending time with Shuichi, huh? Of course, I really get to nowadays. Rarely, did I? Uh, rarely. Sorry, I don't know. I, did, I don't think I pronounced it well. Rarely get to nowadays. Is it really that rare? Don't let him guilt trip you, Shuichi. I'm not trying to. I know that Shuichi is very busy. That's why I don't say anything most of the time. Wow. That's, that's a very, that's a rare good way to say it. If only anyone else said it that nicely. But if I'm given the chance to hang out like we used to a few years ago, I'll take it. Gah. How come... Come on. Come on, don't look so down, Cleves. How come you're only this cute when Shuichi's around? What am I, chopped liver? That's what you're worried about? And that's why I don't get excited about spending time with you as much anymore. No fair! You tried to forbid me from going to a friend's house last week. Cleveland. Don't try to make me out to be unreasonable here. You know it was because he had fleas. Oh. That's actually not a bad re- In third- In third grade! He had fleas in third grade! Cleveland. What, 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 what's with that look? Don't judge me. Look at me with those judgy eyes. And don't stay quiet either. Say something! All of that aside, I can try to make some free time for after Cleveland gets back from the tournament to try and visit. Maybe I could even spend the night. Last time I did, you weren't home, so we didn't get to see each other. Yay! I love that! Wait, when was the last time Shuichi spent the night when we- <gasps> Oh, I'm so glad Aki wasn't home then. Aniki, is something wrong? Did you not like the idea of Shuichi Ni coming for a sleepover? Why are you only eagle-eyeing the main character when that comes to their fucking mind? But all the other times, literally the topic was that we were being ignored. <laughs> why, why would you say that? Because you have a weird look on your face. No, 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 no. It's been a while since Shuichi spent the night. Of course I'd want him to have him over. That's not the kind of thing I can mention when my little brother's around. I'll make sure to have a talk with Shuichi later about expectations if he's gonna come over and spend the night like that. I'm fine with cuddling and sharing a bed, but I'd rather not feel pressured into anything past that. If the mood's right, then maybe. I'd just rather know that he's not expecting it. Uh, am I overthinking this? Are you sure you're okay? Now your face is getting a bit red. <laughs> oh, it's true. Aniki, do you have a fever? <laughs> These aren't the droids you're looking for! What the hell is that supposed to mean, weirdo? I think I heard Shui Saya name utter that once before when she was flustered. Really? Saya did that? Okay. We kept going a little while while I tried switching the subject of conversation. Aki and Shuichi kept asking for a bit to make sure I was okay. Jesus, let it go. But I think I did a decent job of distracting them. As soon as we got to the school gates, Aki waved us goodbye and started jogging on his way to, uh, to his own school. No rush while he's walking with us, but as soon as he's on his own. Guess I can't blame him for having his own priorities. Plus, it's nice to not walk to school alone. Shuichi too had to head somewhere else, going to the adjoining building as soon as we entered this courtyard. Heading to the student council room, no doubt. On the other hand, it does leave me with a lot of time to myself. Back when I first started getting to school early, I would do homework or review my notes before class started, but now that I'm all caught up, it feels like there's nothing left for me to do. 
I've got most of my current subject committed to memory, not to mention having finished all my homework before even leaving class- leaving school yesterday. I might be a tad too efficient. Hmm. I wonder if Sai is here yet. I should probably check in with her in preparation for the trip tonight. No, not this! Is all set for trip tonight. Yeah, finished packing last night, you? This morning, almost forgot my tiles, lol. Dots. I'm not lending you, you my mine if you forget again. Last time I I had to get I had to get new ones because they stunk. I said almost. You've been warned. Anyway, did you get every ting you need? Yeah, just need to buy new strings and tape before we leave. Oh yeah, I should not saying it. Buy some too. Did t you say you already finished pack? Did you say you already finished packing? So did you! Uh. Well... God... Jesus... <laughs> I dread this phone now. Ugh. She gives me a headache sometimes. She gives me a headache every time. I do not like <laughs> Just I don't! I just don't! I don't enjoy her at all! It's a good thing she reminded me about the strings and tape. It's been a while since I've restringed my rackets, and I've played a lot, lot, I've played a lot since then. The tension's been feeling a little off recently, and I have been- I- I keep- I've ke I kept forgetting to change them! Christ! Might drop by the store with Saya when she goes to buy her things. In the meantime, I should probably start looking over the scheduling so I can prepare myself accordingly. I'm the second seed, so it's a given that I'll face Tanabe if I get all the way to the finals. Keisuke is the seventh seed. Not a bad place to be given that the Kanto Regionals are a 64-man competition. There are only 16 seeded slots in it. Considering how much he's developed recently, I can only come up with a handful of people that will show up in this competition that I can imagine being able to beat him. Tanabe and me, or Tanabe and I, are pretty much a given. K Kun's improved, but he can't take a set from me yet. And if he can't manage that, there's no way he can beat Tanabe. Kitayama and oh god, Kikuchihara. Oh, that was actually way easier than I thought it would be. Our third and fourth seeds, which probably, which uh, would probably be tough matchups. But I think he's good enough to beat them by now, if the videos of their last performances in the prefectural tournaments are anything to go by. Besides, with their positions in the bracket, they wouldn't come across each other until at least the semifinals. I don't want to be a dick and say that there's no way he's getting that far, but there's no way he's getting that far. You got the finals last time, you dick! Then there's Yu Yakun. Losing to him and not getting a place in the Saitama Prefectural Finals is the reason Keisuke dropped from his previous fifth seed that he had last year. Despite his performances and outstanding finish in the Prefectural Finals, he didn't get a seeded position in this competition. This is his first time in the U18 League, so he doesn't have the prior rankings to get him in the seeded position in the Kanto Tournament. Kekun did say something about him rising up very far in the U15 rankings after I got into high school, but I didn't hear much about him. I'm guessing he hadn't managed to take to make much of a splash past the regional rankings yet. Due to me being second and Kekun seventh, we would probably face each other in the quarterfinals if he gets that far at least. As for Yuya Kun. With his current place in the bracket, he'd have to make it all the way to the semifinals for him and I to play against each other. Mm. I'd say that my odds of playing against Keikun are almost guaranteed unless there's some kind of upset. For Yuyakun, his first match is against Kitayama-kun. Kitayama is a very strong player, though I do tend to beat him every time we play against each other. I'd say that between him and Yuyakun, odds are probably 40-60 in favor of Yuyakun. I will... I will admit that I'd rather play Kitayama. Yuyakun is way too unpredictable and annoying to deal with. Playing against him once was enough for me. 
Don't get me wrong, I love playing against good players. It gets my adrenaline running and it's the best experience. But there's a certain level of frustration when you're playing against someone like you, yeah. Every time I thought I'd hit a winner, the dude would somehow reach the ball! And there's the June. Morning. And you twitches at the sound of a certain tiger's voice, pulling me away from my thoughts and causing me to look up just in time to see June setting his bag down and taking his seat. Morning. Got here early today. Early? There's only ten minutes until class starts. Wait, really? Whoa, have I been spacing out for that long? That's scary. Yes, I need to pay a little more attention. Probably for the best. You don't want to be the kind of person that's always spacing out. You should be just like every other protagonist, whoo! Well, they start to think you're some kind of airhead. You have absolutely zero right to say that to me. None whatsoever! By the way, isn't today the day that you're going to be traveling for the competition? Yep, finished packing this morning. Only need to swing by the sports gear store later to have my rackets restringed. If that's anything like restringing a piano, then that sounds like a pain. Pianos have strings? Uh, yeah? How do you think they make sound? But, but where are the strings? You're pressing keys, right? You're not playing strings. Cleveland, son. Did the keys bring down a little hammer inside the piano that hits the strings? That's what makes it play. Whoa, for real? You've literally seen me play the piano with the lid popped open. How did you not know this? As if I'd be paying attention to the inside of the piano. I don't want to judge you, but I'm judging you. Oh, shut up! You've asked me a ton of dumb questions when it came to the sports store with me. When you came to the sports store. Uh, you're bringing that up now? That was months ago! You're damn right I am! I absolutely refuse to be judged like this! I ain't taking this lying down! You're mean! I disagree! Of course you would! That proves nothing! We have one vote that says I'm mean, and one vote that says I'm not, since this is a draw, the motion's denied! There you say. Good. I managed to change the subject successfully. Granted, June doesn't look at all happy about that, but, yeah, We all have to make sacrifices. How's Shoichi-san, by the way? Things were a bit awkward yesterday. Ah, yeah. It took a chance can be a lot. The kiss a few days ago was already awkward enough, but she also kept paying a ton of attention to you yesterday and ignoring everyone else. She did? I thought she was just talking normally. She kept looking at you. Everyone else tends to look at whoever is talking at the moment. What the fuck was that? There was something on me. What the fuck was that? Oh god, what the fuck was that, bro? Some shit was on me. Oh. I can see it. Motherfucker! Motherfucker! Fucking flies. Some bitch. I showered literally today. Can you get away from me? Anyway. Everyone else seems to look at whatever whoever's talking at the moment, but she got her eyes on you most of the time. The only other person who does that is Shoichi-san, and for obvious reasons. But you mean you can pick up on that kind of thing? I never would have noticed myself. Jeez, you really are sharper than you look, June. Stop saying that shit! You kind of get good at reading people when you want to figure out ways to bring attention away from yourself. Away from yourself? Why would you want to do that? You're a performer. Thought you liked having people pay attention to you. That's a whole other story. Hey, did you do yesterday's homework? I could uh, do with some help going over the answers. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, sure, what do you need? Good fucking... <laughs> that was obvious, but good job, June. Juden pulls out a few of his notebooks, asking me to check some of his answers, and then taking a look at mine to figure out what he did wrong. Wow. 
you're just gonna let that one wow okay that was blatant but hey whatever man whatever works I do my best to correct him in a way that he can understand the material, but it doesn't take long until I notice him fidgeting in a seat. Getting him to study really is a challenge sometimes. Shuichi will be fine. I'll talk to him after I come back from my competition. Besides, he'll come down to watch me play sometime. That way, that always cheers Shuichi up. That feels like a bit of a brag. A, a, a brag? Your boyfriend likes you so much that just getting to watch you play completely cheers him up and cleanses his bad mood. But d that's not how I meant it at all. <laughs> sure, of course it wasn't. You got a lot of lip on you today, Kobayashi. Kobayashi. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Admittedly, there's very little I can do or that I'm willing to do. I could pinch your cheek and get you to submit. But people tend to glare at me whenever I put my hands on you, even as a joke. Shun's pretty much turned into the class's mascot by now. It's like people are rallying around him and forming the Jun's Defense Force lately. As they should! This man is precious, and you should protect him at all costs. Which is such an unbelievably weird thing to say. Thought so. <laughs> Didn't say anything. Exactly. Ugh, just you wait until I catch you somewhere without other people around. Wait, no, that sounded horrible. What? What am I? Some kind of punk? You're such a handful sometimes. <laughs> By the way, uh, do you have a chronogram? Chronogram? Just say schedule for God's sake. What the fuck? A chronogram? Who the fuck? What the hell? A chronogram for your matches tomorrow? I need to know what time to take the train and where I need to go. You sure? You don't have to come. I know it's a school day and everything. <laughs> like, that would stop me from going. Hey, we've seen this text schedule before. Or this text line. I, I know that you need to focus on your studies, but you should try to care at least a little. We this literally was what it was in the Keisuke, uh, stuff. I wonder if this literally would count as skipped to- Oh, no. This does not count as scene text, because it's a different route. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I should read this, because not everyone- Well, <sighs> Not everyone will have watched the Keisuke videos before they've watched these. Even though this will come out after that. Uh, fine, okay. It's literally the same words, though. Well, okay. Let me pull up the information I have. Maybe you could go with Aki. His club is looking into charting a bus to take students, but you two could take the train together, too, so long as he has an adult with him. I wouldn't mind that. I like spending time with Aki Oshikun. I give June a quick rundown of my itinerary, letting him know where the venue is, what time the event starts, and what buses he can take to get there, the works. Just to be safe, I write it down on a random page on the back of my notebook, ripping it out and handing it to him. The last thing I need is for him to forget and get lost. And considering I've w once seen him get lost downtown, this is a very real possibility. Oh man, the matches start at 10? I'm gonna have to wake up really early to catch a train then. Not really. If you get on the 8 a.m. bus, then it should give you enough time. Like I said, if I, you don't have to. I'm coming! End of discussion! <laughs> All right, all right. You don't have to bite my head off. Sheesh. Someone's snippy today. I'll try asking Shuichi-san about it. Maybe the three of us can go together. Shuichi won't be coming tomorrow. Huh? Out of everyone, I'd expect Shuichi-san to be the first one there. What do you mean he's not going? I'd like for him to be there too, but his dad told him he couldn't go. At least not for tomorrow. Maybe for the second and third days of the competition? And only really for the afternoon matches. <laughs> what, are you serious? Now that's just cruel! Why not let him go? Boo! I don't understand how to naturally boo in a conversation. It just that's just odd. That's weird. Why are you booing me? I have nothing to do with it. Not booing you, I'm booing the situation! 
Well, the situation can't listen to your boos, so right now you're just booing me. Although, you're right to boo the situation. And just, while you're at it, boo the rest of the whole Jersey Shore crew. They're just fucking... That's just a plague on society. If I remember correctly, it's something about Shuichi having missed a few school assignments recently. His dad is forcing him to stick around tomorrow to finish them, and knowing him, he might miss the second day too if he can't finish them all in a single day. Ugh, as if Shuichi-san doesn't, doesn't already do enough. Who cares if he missed a couple of assignments? It's not like they're worth anything in the first place. You'd think that, but... It's okay. Some people just don't have the luxury of missing out on class and schoolwork for a basic sporting event. But seriously, June, it's okay. I'd much rather you stop talking about it, if I'm being honest. I prefer not being reminded of it, thank you very much. I'm sorry. There's really nothing that can be done about it. Besides, owing Shuichi, he'll probably finish it all in a couple of hours, and like you said, be there for the f be there first thing in the afternoon, just for the second day. Dots, dots, I guess. Come on, I'm trying my best to stay cheerful about it. You could at least try. Hmm. What? Just considering something. Murder! Murder! Considering what? Don't worry about it. Murder! If you of all people tells me not to worry about it, that just makes me worry even more. I don't know if you've noticed, but you ca but your casually ditzy attitude doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Sure, it's better than being aloof, but still. Uh, I was hoping it would take a bit longer for class to start. You know exactly what time it was when you got here. What did you expect? For time to slow down? Sure would be nice. Class is boring. I really wonder how you even manage to get into this school sometimes. Whoa! It's the night time! And Case Gay's in his fucking pajamas again. Once lunchtime came around, we had our daily meeting with the usual suspects, other than Shuichi himself, who was conspicuously absent. I wonder if that meant Hitoka was there too or not. He shot me a text at, the, at some point, telling me he had to spend his lunch break working in his classroom and couldn't come by like usual. When I tried asking if he was blitzing through his overdue assignments so he could try showing up for my competition, he stayed suspiciously silent. Again, reading you isn't difficult at all. Once class was dismissed, Sai and I got together right away to get our racket, rackets checked and restringed. She also took the opportunity to buy a first aid spray and some new knee bracers since she said hers was starting to get a bit worn out. Considering the fact that, in between the two of us, she had seven rackets that needed restringing, we really had to get to it as soon as possible. And even then, we only have a conservative, conservative amount of rackets between us. I myself only carry three with me at all times, while Saya has four. Given that she's a defensive baseliner and plays a more reactive style, it makes sense for her to have more rackets than I do. Still, we don't even compare to Keiku, who carries eight with him. All of them have different levels of tension, different strings, different grips, etc. It doesn't change the fact that he, it feels excessive for a high school student. If you're a professional tennis player, sure, have as many as you want. I know some players have a dozen, but eight as a junior? <sighs> Each racket takes between 45 minutes to an hour to thoroughly work on, so it's a good thing our usual store didn't have other people in attendance. We're letting two employees work on our rackets at the same time. The whole times, the whole time, Saya was grumbling at me about how I could have made us late by coming with her. Wow, what a bitch. <laughs> that three and a half to four hours would have been plenty of time to get her stuff done, but there wasn't, but if there hadn't been a second employee to work on my stuff, we could have been stuck there for six hours or more. Wow, very self-absorbed she is. But are we surprised? Jeez. Of course, I didn't bother mentioning that her accusations of me being unprepared were also completely applicable to her, since she also was getting her rackets worked on the day of the competition. <laughs> the day of the competition. Still, we were at least lucky that we had enough time to swing by our places, grab our things, and come back here without being late. I did tell you that we ought to have gotten our your preparations finished at least a few days beforehand, Mizuguchi-san. Oh, shut up. Nobody likes a know-it-all. It's Cleveland Coons' fault anyway. No, it's not! 
you fucking brazen bitch. Also, need I point out that I had completely separate had a completely separate employee working on my rackets? Mine were finished before yours were. Yeah, but if you hadn't been there, I could have had both employees working on my stuff and would have had it all done in half the time. Or you could have found a line, had to wait for someone else that was ahead of you, and have been late. What did I just say about a know-it-all? It's not my fault that you are unprepared, Captain. I'll get back at you, just you wait. Or you could just lay the fuck off, you hypocritical cunt! I'm so fucking tired of this character being stupid and annoying! God damn it, after a hundred plus episodes, I'm just fucking sick of it! I'm sick of it, god damn it! If you say so. I do say so! <laughs> I'm talking to myself. That's all this is. I've been doing it for so many years, I'm just I'm talking to my fucking self here. And Kaycoon really is poking a hornet's nest here. That's how you should describe your friends. I'll silently hope that I'm not around when Saya decides to get her payback. It shouldn't be payback. He's right. She's wrong. God damn it. The last thing I need is to end up involved. Oh, it's the coach. Have you three put your things away in the bus yet? The driver tells me that we're all set up for the trip, so we're only waiting for Hayato-kun and Kanachan before we leave. Yeah, we're all set. Do you need us to go ahead and I'm bored already? It's fine. We can wait until everyone is here. Buses can be very cramped and uncomfortable. I know a lot of you would rather spend as little time inside as possible. Quite true. Really? Personally, I've never found them to be all that bad, coming from the smallest motherfucker in here. Of course you don't. You're tiny. I'm the tallest girl here, you know. It's like being the nicest guy in prison, but okay. I meant in the wideness department. Aw, Cleveland Coon, you flatterer. Thanks. That's not what I- never mind. If you kids will excuse me, I need to check on the other two students. No problem, sir. The burly crocodile quickly walked away, going to check on the other two girls sitting and chatting under the same- under on some trees a few meters from us, leaving the three of us to gather- to our own devices again. Man, I can't wait to finally get there! I'm so excited! What for? It's not like this will be anything new. We've gone to a bunch of those already. I know, but there's something about it being our last regional tournament before we go professional that makes it so... more. That's one way to put it. Shush, it's not like you'd understand what I mean anyway. True, but I can imagine. I know it's a big deal for you guys. Or at least for you, Mizuguchi-san. Careful you don't give yourself a bad case of the nerves and end up losing in an upset. <laughs> like that would ever happen. Fair enough. I don't think I've ever seen Saya hiccup that badly before. Not that it couldn't happen, the odds seem pretty low. I wish I could have had that mental fortitude. My frustration often leads to a drastic deterioration in the quality of my gameplay. At least you're self-aware. Hard not to be after having so many losses against you. There, there. This is the kind of thing you get better at with practice. Not that you've ever had to practice it. You're always, you've always been super cool under pressure, even when we were kids. Cleveland Coon, shush! I'm trying to comfort Cancun over here! It's fine. I already know it to be true. Besides, I'd rather not be lied to, if you don't mind. Ah. While Saya continues trying to cheer Keisuke up, I feel a buzz phone, my phone buzzing inside my pocket. Good God, here comes the phone again. I quickly fish it out of my pocket just in time to see a message from Shuichi flashing on the screen. Here we go again. Uh, 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 hope you have a good day too. Haven't had a, have a safe, tr uh, haven't grabbed about our date tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Love you. Have a safe trip. Was hoping I'd be able to see you off, but they got stuck home. No worries. I appreciate your messaging. Try not to stay up too late. You need good sleep before you play. Dots. You do know this isn't my first competition, right? Ha 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 ha. Sorry, just wish I was there. Um, wish you were, uh, wish you were here too, big guy. Love you. Have a safe trip. Well, I will talk to you tomorrow. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they go so fast and it's hard to read and the mistypings. I mean, it's obviously psychic. They're texting. No one texts properly. At least, I mean, I do. And most of the people I talk to do. But like, God. 
Wow, someone's grinning real hard right now. <laughs> Let me guess. It was a message from the boyfriend. Uh, I don't know how that would be said. But you sure are excited about it, huh, Mizuguchi-san? You're like a kid with candy over there, someone else's relationship. I can't help it. I've known about Shuichi liking him for years. I'm happy that they're together now. And I'm still not used to everyone knowing about it. Uh, oh, do you want to stop mentioning it? We, we can do that. It, nah, it's okay. Just something I have to get used to sooner or later. But it's really nice of you to offer. You really should speak for yourself, Kun. I wouldn't stop talking about it even if he asked. Because you're a bitch! Gee, thanks. Hey, you should be used to me knowing already. I've known for a while. Not that we wanted you to! Jeez. Doesn't make it any easier to come to terms with it. Alright everyone, we're all accounted for. Please start boarding the bus so we can get going. We want to get to the hotel before 9 so we can have enough time to get food and bathe. Looks like it's time. These buses only have two seats per row, so how are we going to go about it? One of us will have to sit alone. I don't mind getting on the road behind you two. I prefer being able to close my eyes and rest on trips like these anyway. Aw, oh, thanks, k -kun. Guess that means we'll be able to sit together and chat no problem, Cleveland coon Is it too late for me to sit with Case Kay? Rude! You saying you don't want to spend time with me? No, I don't. I fucking don't. You suck. Boo. You stink. There we go. Solve my don't know how to boo diegetically problem. <laughs> Just like that, we took no time boarding the bus. Before long, we were on our way to Tokyo. Due to her words, Saya sat behind me and we chatted. But so what? She sat behind me? I think that should be beside me because literally the, the whole thing just then was that Keisuke was going to sit behind us, but whatever. Saya sat beside me, and we chatted for most of the trip. I'd have preferred to do like K-Kun and rest on my way there, but I'd rather deal with a chatty, upbeat Saya than a sulky one. By the time we got to the hotel, it took all the energy I had to eat my dinner, take my bath, and retire to my room along with KSK. I don't even know if he tried to talk to me on the way there, since I passed out as soon as I hit the futon. 